everyone and welcome to Crystal's Crochet Cubby Hole and to Tutorial Tuesday. I have been sick so I have not felt the greatest but I didn't want to miss out on sharing some kind of small tutorial with you. So we are going to make, and I got this idea from one of uh, our, my subscribers, we're going to make these little, I'll call them icicles for our tree. So there's that one and then here's a white one. You could do whatever colors you want and see I just kind of stretch them out a little bit and then they'll hang on the tree so I thought those were really cute you could do whatever color theme you've got for your tree you could make these ever how many you want and hang them all over the tree they're very simple very easy and quick to do um, the blue one I'm using this I love this cotton sparkle so if you could find some yarn with some sparkle in it that would I think you might can see that sparkle. It's hard for the camera to catch it, isn't it? But um, it does have sparkle in it. Well, I wonder why it won't show. But anyway, uh, so you'll need some yarn and if you you know whatever color you're wanting to use I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook you'll need a pair of scissors for cutting your ends uh, there you don't will you will not have to weave in anything in this little tutorial so and you can make them as long as you want um, mine let's see if I, let me get my tape measure and I'll tell you about how long mine are Mine, not pulled it down, are about five inches scrunched up. So if you pull them out and stretch them out a little bit, then they'll go to about seven inches. So you can make them whatever length you want. So mine is five inches, kind of scrunched up tight. And once you pull it out, taint on your tree, it will be uh, around seven inches. If you go by the stitch count that I do okay so we're going to do a slip knot and leave enough yarn at the end so you can do your little hangy thing here <laughs> so I'm gonna start way up here and do my slip knot I'm gonna chain 30 one two, three, 30. So then I'm going to into the second chain from the hook and I'm going to do three single crochets. This is kind of like we did for our wreath, but we're not going to make a wreath out of it. Two, three. So now you'll go in every chain down through here and do three single crochets in each chain and I'll meet you near the end. Okay, I'm coming up on my last little chain. So three single crochets in it. One, two, three. I'm gonna chain one, pull up my yarn. I'll cut a long enough piece to make my tie on the end. That's probably longer than I need, but. And then I'm gonna just kinda tie this in together one I'll do two times okay and then you just take your st strings out in whatever length you want your uh, loop to be and tie a knot in it my mind went blank <laughs> Tie a little knot in it, and then cut off the excess. And there you have your own little squiggly, and you pull it, and now you have that little twirly gig icicle for your Christmas tree. I think these would be are really cute and will look really cute on a tree. What about you guys? 
So that's our tutorial for today. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for being patient with me and understanding. Uh, we just, you know, been sick and stuff, so I haven't felt like doing much. Uh, but I love you and I appreciate you. And we will talk to you later in Crystal's Crochet Cubby Hole. Bye for now.